In the last video, we went ahead and set up our Laravel installation, and we also created the controllers and routes that we need. Now what I want to do is start to work on the views and layout. All right, so we're going to be using the foundation responsive front end framework, which is very similar to Bootstrap. So if we go to our resources, uh, we want to go to resources and then views. All right, so this is where our views are going to be held. And all we have now is the welcome view, which is just the default that comes with uh, Laravel. So we're going to create a few folders here. So the first one we're going to create is going to be called layouts. And this is where we're going to put our layouts, our templates, you can also call them. Um, they're basically, they're layouts that are going to wrap around all of our other views. So this is where you'd put things like the, the head tags, the body tags, um, including your CSS files, things like that. Stuff that you want on every single page. All right. So in the layouts folder, we're going to create a file and we're going to save this as main.blade.php. Now Blade is the default template engine that Laravel uses. Um, if you use something like underscore or jade or uh, mustache, there's, there's a lot of different template libraries. And th I mean, those are JavaScript, but they work generally the same way. The special syntax you can use um, to make it dynamic. All right, um, next thing we're going to do is we need a folder for each of our controller views. All right, so we'll create a folder called photo. Oops, let's do lowercase. So photo, and we also want a folder called gallery. All right, now in both of those, we're going to create a few files. Okay, this one is going to be index.blade.php. And then we also want a create. Okay, so this will be to create a new gallery. So this one will be create.blade.php. And then we also want one to show the actual gallery. So new file and we're going to save this as show.blade.php all right now in the photo folder we're going to create um, let's do uh, create.blade.php and we also want a details Now let me show you how to render a view from the controller. So let me just close some of these. All right, so let's go to our gallery controller. And right now we have this index. This is actually the home page. If we just go to our root domain, it should give us gallery index because we're just spitting it out right here. Now to include the view, I'm gonna just get rid of this. And we're going to say render view. And we want to return um, return view. And then we need to pass in there the view we want, which will be gallery slash index. Um, and you can also pass data in. And let me just give you an example of that. All right, so let's say um, test. And we'll set that to testing. And then all we have to do is put in a second parameter here. And we're going to wrap it in the compact method. And we'll put in test. All right, so if we go and reload this, we, get, we see nothing. And that's because we don't have anything in the template. So let's go to resources, views, gallery, and then index. And we'll say this is index. All right, and then we'll save that, reload, and we get this as index. Now, remember we, we threw the test variable in there, so we passed that along. So the syntax for that, we're gonna use a double curly brace here, and we'll say test. 
All right, and then we'll reload and we get testing. All right, so that's how we pass in our results or the rows that we get from the database later on. Okay, now let's just again, we'll say uh, gallery index. Now I want to show you how we can implement the layout. All right, so if we go to main.blade.php and we'll say this is the layout. All right, if we just look at that, we're not going to see any difference. All right, because we haven't, uh, we're not using the layout. If we want to use it, we can go back to our view. So back to gallery index. Actually, before we do that, we need to add something to this. Um, wherever we want to put our output, our view output, we need to say yield. And we just want to pass in content. All right, and if we reload, it's still not going to show us anything because we have to go to our view and we have to specify which layout we want to use or extend. Whoops, what's going on here? So to do that, we're going to say at extends and then we'll pass in, uh, it's in the layouts folder and it's called main. We want to extend that. All right, and then the content we're going to wrap in a section. So this will be section content. All right, and then at the bottom here, we're just going to say at stop. All right, so now if we save that and reload, now you can see we're getting the layout and we're also including the view. So all of our um, foundation code, all that stuff is going to go in the main layout. So let's go ahead and grab that. If we go to, uh, let's see, HTML templates, and this gives us just a bunch of boilerplate templates um, or starter templates. And I want to grab this one here, portfolio. Okay, I think this is suitable for a photo gallery. So let's go ahead and download that. All right, so that only gives us the HTML file. Uh, we can open that, and this is what it's going to look like. I actually want to open it in Sublime, though, so let's go to uh, Downloads, and Portfolio. All right, so that's that, but we also need the main foundation code, so let's go back to Foundation and let's see getting started and where's the download let's go to the home page and we'll just download and we want to get complete and that's going to be a zip file so we'll open that up all right i'm um, using winzip Go ahead and just close just close these things down. All right. So just ignore this. I'm just opening the zip. Okay. So here's the foundation folder. Now I'm going to open my project folder. So if we go to let's see, Xamp, HT Docs, Photo Gallery. And this is going to go in the public folder. We have public, and we're going to create a CSS folder. We'll create a JS folder for JavaScripts. And we're also going to want an images folder, and that's where we're going to keep all the photos. All right, so in the CSS, I'm going to bring over uh, foundation CSS and app CSS. All right, and then in the JavaScript, let's bring over, um, we'll grab all these. You only need either um, the JS or the, J or the min JS. So that's that, and I think that's it. There's nothing in the image folder, so that's fine. Now what we want to do is go back to that uh, portfolio HTML file we have here, and I'm going to copy 
everything. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it into the main uh, the main layout here. All right, so in order for actually it's set to the CDN for foundation here. I'm gonna change that. We're gonna point to the one we just added. So um, to get to that. Since we put it in the public folder, we can just say slash CSS slash foundation. All right, and then we also want to include that app CSS, and that's going to be the file where um, we'll add any custom CSS. So make sure you include those two things, and then down at the bottom, uh, let's see, we want to keep the jQuery, and then the JavaScript we're going to link from our local files. So slash JS slash foundation JS. All right, and we'll also include that app JS that they gave us. All right, so let's save that and let's see what this looks like now. All right, so the template is now taking effect and um, it, right now it's just a static template. Okay, we have nothing coming in dynamically. Um, so we're gonna change a few things. Let's first of all change this title. Let's just say photo gallery. And let's see. The sidebar right here is going to be a menu. So this is the sidebar. We're going to get rid of that image. And for the heading, let's just say main menu. And then we're going to have a UL. Okay, and in here, let's do li, and we'll need some links. This is going to go to the home page, and um, we'll give it a text of home. All right, let's throw a couple other links in here. Okay, so we're going to want a login page. And that's going to go to slash login. It's not going to do anything yet. We're going to get to that later on. So this one will be register. And then we also want one to create a gallery, which by default will be hidden for guests. You'll have to log in. But for now, uh, we're not going to worry about that. That's going to go to gallery slash create, which we already created the route for. So that should actually work. All right, so let's take a look. Okay, so there's our main menu. Let's give that UL a class. I'm going to give it a class of side nav. Okay, so the next thing we're going to want, um, we're going to want to load our view in this main area. So let's go down and this whole section here, this um, call out primary, that's the that's this area, and we're going to want a different one on every view because that's where we're going to put the page title and stuff like that. So we want that, and then we want everything in here, which goes down to actually. If we scroll down, I don't want this this contact area. So I think. Where does this end? Usually uh, Sublime Text has good highlighting. If we click on one div, it'll show us where it ends. I'm not sure why it's not doing that. So that one ends where? Up here. All right, so let's grab from here the div above the HR. And we're going to bring it up. I want to go to right here, this call out primary. And we're going to cut that out. And let's see what that looks like. It should get that whole main area. And then we just want to get rid of that whole contact area. So this, um, I just want to leave two divs at the end. So all this. 
just like that. Okay, now the part that I cut out, that I copied, I'm going to put that into the index. So I'm going to put that right here. We'll save that. Now in order to have that show, we need to, um, we need to create that yields line. All right, so at yield content. And there we go. All right, so now all this area is coming in from the view, from the index view. So let's go to that index view. And for this H1, let's replace that. We'll say photo galleries. All right, and then here. We'll say create a gallery and start uploading. Okay. Now all these are going to be replaced when we actually uh, create our database and we have some photos in there. But um, this is fine for now. So we also want our create gallery. If we click on that, it's not extending the main template. So we need to do that. Uh, if we, let's see, let's copy this, these two lines, and then we'll put that in gallery create. Um, and down here we need to put stop. Oh, we didn't do it in the controller. We had to go to the gallery controller. Let's take that out. And that. All right, and then we'll copy this. And in create, we're going to say we want the gallery create view. Okay, so now. Let's actually copy the whole format of index. Okay, I'm going to just grab all of that and put that into create. And now we'll change this heading. We'll change that to create gallery. And then this line we can leave the same. And then these, let's see, that ends down here. Let's get rid of all this stuff inside of that div. And just to test it out, let's make sure everything's formatted okay. Now this area, um, you see how it's up against the edge? I don't like that, so I'm going to create a div here. And we're going to call it main. And I just want to add some padding for this uh, class. So if we go to our CSS, which is in uh, public, CSS and then app CSS. Let's say main, and we're going to give it a padding of 20 pixels. All right, so that looks better. So in the next video, we're going to go ahead and and add that create form so that we can actually create a gallery. 